welcome to Art Pro Fest. Today we're having a new guest. Our new guest is uh, Ademola Ojo. Hello, Ademola. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. joining us today, Ademola, on uh, Art Pro Fest. I would like you to introduce yourself in a few words, please. I'm Ademola Ojo. I am a Nigerian based artist. I I document uh, my culture, my environment, you know, our way of life, what we do here, by using uh, oil and acrylic on canvas, you know, as a tool of discourse of uh, my culture, you know, so that it will be transgenerational. I'm documenting the culture of my people. So by using the Ife bronze, you know, the Yoruba, you know, the origin of the Yoruba people. So as a, as, as a, as a tool of discourse, you know, of our identity, our black identity, our cultural difference, you know. So I am from Ife, also state Nigeria. So I studied define and applied that in Obafem Aulo University. So presently I am a full-time studio painter. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank awesome. you. That was yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. You know what? I'm really, really impressed by the fact that you are using the culture as a, okay. yeah, that you're using, that you're actually uh, documenting yes. culture. And I would like to know how you go about it. Um, I go about it is that, no. Um, I thought of, you know, thought of how we could be recognized by other cultures. Mm -hmm. You know, we have cultural differences. Yeah. So uh, personally as an artist, you know, I, I, did, I did a lot of research, a, a lot of research is then, you know, on how we could be recognized by worldwide world, you know, how we can be, it could be identified by who we are, you know. So then I got to, you know, discover that bronze, that bronze as, you know, as, uh, as the only identity that can showcase the Yoruba people, mm -hmm. that can talk, that can talk volume about who we are, as a person, because no, no, the, that, 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 that bronze was done in 12th and 13th century. So that's when it was discovered by Leo Reynolds, you know. So uh, in a way, I did a lot of research before I discovered that. Ah, this is captivating. Yeah. That's really interesting. So <laughs> bronze is really something that is, uh, re that is very close to the Yoruba culture. Yes, okay. yes, because the, that, that bronze, that bronze, you know, is done for the obas. They are the mm -hmm. portraits of the obas. Can you, you know, explain what an no, oba is? Because you know some people are not oh, king, yeah. king, the yeah. king, the king, the <laughs> king that live like like Egyptian art, you know. Yes. Like the mummy of Egyptian, you understand now. So yes, I understand. The, 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 that that bronze, you know, like for example, if I'm, if I'm a king now, I will invite an artist. Is going to do my sculptural piece the way I look when I was still alive. You understand? Then you you know you cast it so those bronzes they are the uh, they are the uh the sculptural pieces of all the all, all the kings that have really you know reign in life ah. so reign in life so and it, 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 it talks it talks about civilization of the Yorubas of the africans because that white man when he came to uh if then the company discovered that he was surprised because this was this was no the that bronze was dated to 12th century before the Europeans coming to colonize, you know, to colonize the he was surprised. Wait, how did we go about how did we arrive at that? So he was surprised. And in a way, at that time, you know, if an art was popular because they were surprised, but how, how, how these people, they are black people, how, how did they arrive at this? How did they do it? Who taught them? Yeah. So that's how. You know that that's how it was them smart. Ah, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is wonderful. It's I mean, it's so amazing yeah. to know that you know these are facts that sometimes people are not aware of. So it's really good yeah. when you know we find yeah. out about this type of information. So thank yes. you so much for sharing. I was gonna yeah. also ask you, what's your favorite medium? Because I know you you can you you paint, but do you have yes. another medium that you use, or is it mainly mm. what you focus on? Uh -uh. Um, the, the one I use uh, basically is oil and acrylic on canvas. Oh, so cool. I use pastel and then I use normal charcoal pencil too. I draw mm. on paper. Mm. So now, 
no, in my I'm, I'm presently in the art residency. This is my apartment. This is not my hey. studio. <laughs> well, it still looks so, like a beautiful studio. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you no, know, as an artist now, so you are, you know, you carry your materials along. You no, know, if you don't even paint in the studio, they provide for you at home. Inspiration can come, and mm. you may want to paint. You know, uh, uh, that's the reason why. You no. Know, that's the reason yeah, I'm yeah. doing this. No, hey, so uh, what I, I'm planning of um, sculpting now. I want to be sculpting that bronze, you no, know, yeah. stylizing that, that that bronze, you know, so that they can see it. You know, you understand. So yeah. I'm, I'm planning of using clay, um, of using you know what uh, what is it called pop mm -hmm. pop. So to to create some three D effects of ah, what I'm doing. This is yeah. getting <laughs> exciting now. Oh my God! When is all this yeah. coming up? You're, gonna, you're experimenting yeah, yeah. at the moment, are you? You're experimenting with all that, or have you mm. practiced in it before? Yes, 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 before, but I've not started. I'm planning on doing that after the residency. Mm. Yeah. Where is yeah. your residency? Uh, Native to Africa in Lagos. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Native to Africa is a is a is a, is a uh, is an art gallery. So nice. so they uh, they selected five artists from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be there for how long? Mm, we are when we are the exhibition is next month. Next so month. we are we are we are rounding everything off by the ending of by the ending of this month. Mm, well, yeah, by the end of this month. Congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to know more about your inspiration for your work. Obviously, you've already told us that what your inspiration was, but maybe there's something else you would like to add to this, like because I could see from your paintings. You know, although you 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 incorporating the, the African the Yoruba uh, bronze, yeah, you also yes. mixing it with a contemporary, uh, yeah, European, uh, yeah. So I'm like, I really want to know more about that. So I'd like you to kind of go through one of your paintings and tell us the concept behind it. Maybe you can choose one of the ones you have behind you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this painting too. Yeah, about my inspiration as an artist, you know, basically this bronze is talking about who I am, where I hail from, my personality, my blood, you know. Um, you know, my work is talking about, basically about black identity. Mm -hmm. You know, who we really are as black, you know, and uh, what we really have. Something happened to, the African countries, something really happened to us that was already in, in a way affected and also, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm, I can't say really, I, in, in one way it affected us, in one way we benefited from it, which is colonization. Yes. So, uh -huh. so in a way, many, many of us, you know, or uh, many of us, you can't forget, you know, the impacts mm -hmm. of the colonization, whether in a good way or in a bad way. Yeah. You understand? So personally, I have a positive mindset about this. Mm. A positive mindset about this, you know. Although we know that many people are killed, you know, they looted some of our bronze and artifacts. We are mm. aware of that, you understand? Yeah. But, you know, this, uh, this, this is a new world entirely. This is a new world whereby we need each other. Yeah, <laughs> even, the, even the cell phone we are using, you know, Everything we are using their, their their lifestyle, we need each other in a way. They came they came because they came based on relationship. You know, they came based on the mineral resources we have in our home immediate environment that they don't have. So and they come for exchange, you no know, trade by butter, all those things they have. Yeah. So in a way, that's the motive I have behind all these that happen. I don't have any negatives. So this I try to do dual identity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dual identity, which is basically talking about uh, uh, someone like you that live in Europe, mm -hmm. then you don't forget who you are. Yes, you know who you are is really who you are. You have that strong bone inside of you, the bone of the Africans. <laughs> you yes. understand? You have the, you, see, <laughs> you see how the woolly here. You understand? So you see how that round nose. So that's who you are. You may put on this dress. You may dress anyhow. Mm -hmm. But who you are is who you are, who you are. Yeah. and, and you, you see enjoy who you are, mm -hmm. and you see celebrate who you are. Exactly. So you may use their phone, you may use their you know some kind of devices, you may use their motorcycle, you may use what they brought to us, you know, as Africans. You mm -hmm. understand? You know, you may wear their dress, you may dress anyhow. You understand? But you know, 
this is who you really are. This is who you really are. You understand? Yeah. So that's the idea behind this. You know? And that's the major reason why I, I put all these European attires on. So it's actually talking about the bond we have together, how we need each other, how we can't stand alone. No, you can't stand alone. You can't say, I want to be myself. I don't want to, I don't need anybody. No, God didn't create us. He didn't create us to be like that. We created us so that we can live together. You know, we, we work together. What you don't need, you know, you understand? So yeah. that's my own motive behind this. You no, know? I know many people are asking questions about the European you know, dress, the European attire, the European way of life, the lifestyle of the European. On bronze, that's mm. the motive behind it. I hope I've answered your question. No, you've answered my question. And then now I'm seeing that, okay, you're using different, like like this this attire is uh, maybe from the, I don't know which century. Then you have uh, this one is more modern. Yes. Yes, it does, uh, uh, the early uh, 18th century. 18th century. And then next, next to it, you have something that is much more like maybe current or I'd say modern, the one that is, on the other side, the one with the red background. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, yes. so does the attire has a, a meaning in your in your paintings? Because yes, yes. So can you explain the, the, the meaning then? What would be the difference between those two attires? Because I understand the ideology that you just explained. And then now yes. I'd like to understand why why the change in the attires and what are the meanings? Okay. Um the real meaning of the attires is basically on uh, my immediate environment, my contemporary world. You know, this one I was not born then, mm. so I'm just date, I'm dating people back. You know, okay. I'm, I'm bringing back the memories. You know, um, I, I'm in a way, you know, yeah, I'm bringing back the memories. You know, the yeah, memories yeah, that yeah, don't yeah, forget yeah. when DC was. It was raining, you understand? So this contemporary one is actually talking about my own personal world, what I see around me, the way people dress, you know? When you see the year style at times you know, in my painting, like the work I will be visiting next month, first of uh, September, you know? When you see, you get to see year style, you know? I do that year style basically because of, like, the way you, you're here now, I love your year. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, so as an artist, yeah, we are in the contemporary world. So. What I see in that is I want to document what is happening now, mm. so that the generation the generation generation coming generation coming they will be able to relate to it the way we dress now. Mm. Understand the way we do our hairstyle now. You know, in a way, it is transgenerational. True. You understand. So this attire is basically because of what is going on around me now. Mm. You know, the way they dress, the way they do use of colors. You know, everything. You know. The, 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 the contemporary way of doing things. I'm part of my work. So my, my present work must be seen in my work. Exactly, it does make sense. Make so sense. that's the major reason why I think like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's one you did as well. I remember one that I saw, I think one of the first one that I saw on your page, there was one you used, I think was it the Mona Lisa? And then you yeah, say, Mona Lisa, yeah, yeah, I'm bringing back <laughs> memories. <laughs> I'm I bringing back one. memories. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that one as well, I was really intrigued as to wow. why you actually chose that one. And then, yeah, I, I like, I'd like to know more about that one too. Okay, about that Mona Lisa. That is, I'm celebrating women. Ah, tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you no, know, I see women... I, I see, I, I believe that women should be treated the way the artwork is treated. Mm -hmm. The way you're talking about, if you have the original piece of Mona Lisa with you, you know how rich you are going to be now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so, definitely. So, um, I, I, am, I painted that figure because I celebrate women. Mm. You know, I want women to be celebrated, to be, you know, adored, you know, to be cared for, should not be, they shouldn't be maltreated, you know. I want them to be seen like Mona Lisa. Okay. You understand? You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, because, you know, you know, there are a lot of things going on now about women, you know, many things, you understand? So, but personally, as an artist, the, the inspiration behind that is my mom. Because I paint too many lots. It's my mom. Yeah. Yes, I love my yeah. mom a lot. Uh, you understand? That's good. You're good. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Then I, I really, I really love it because you know, first time I came across your page and I saw 
like I was looking at the bronze and I was like, I was wondering, I and then I was reading what you were writing because you know you always have like a little write up, uh, yeah, of your images. So I was like, oh, and it got me so interested. And I and I'm like, because myself, I'm Yoruba, obviously, but uh, no. born abroad and then raised abroad, I do not have all the information you have. So I was like, so excited to get to know more about what you were doing. So really, I'm, I'm really impressed. I, I really love what you're doing. So please, thank keep you. Going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Um, I also want to ask you some more questions. I would like to know, well, you said you're working on something specific. Oh, yeah, you already told us what you were working on at the moment. But if you want to tell us a little bit more about it, we'd love okay. to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Presently, presently, uh, like the one behind it. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning of painting uh, 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 someone that lives, you know, all these, um, what's it called? Native, Ameri Native Americans. Native mm Americans. -hmm. You know that? Address, you know, that address, that Red Indians that talk yes. about the native, you understand? Yes, yes, yes. So now presently, you know, because of the residency and everything, the, it's, it's not residency, it's, it's called uh, art mentorship. Mm. You know, they took us through our works and uh, what can put in the concept and everything so that you can step up in our yes. career, you understand? So presently now, the man, came to my studio and he saw some of my works. He saw my artsy statements, mm -hmm. saw everything I wrote, and um, he gave me an idea. Mm -hmm. Although I've been doing that before, you know, I put into European attires on my bronze, you know, I do that a lot. So, but he gave me an idea that what, to, what if I go to all cultures in the world? Because blacks are everywhere. That's true. And yes, like someone like, you know, how can you feel when you see, see, see my art, the way you are where you are now. Mm. You understand now? Yes, so how exactly. can you how can you put yourself in my painting? How can you see yourself in my painting mm. living in America mm. or in Dubai or in Russia or in any part of the world? So in that sense, although he knows that I will be traveling around the world as time goes on, but I should be seeing it that way because blasts are everywhere, mm. Europe people are everywhere. So I should go into different cultures. Mm. And put this bronze there so that they can feel it. Yo, oh my God, I'm at home. <laughs> you understand? Oh my God, this is me. This is my story. I'm living here, and this man is putting me in his painting. Yeah. You, know, you understand? So the idea now, I've already done one miniature work. I was, I'm not. I was not happy because that's the last canvas I had left. Mm. So I did that painting. It's very small. So now I'm not planning of putting that same painting on a bigger canvas. On a bigger canvas. You know, that, Yes, yes. So I will put that red Indian you know, here. The bronze here will still be there. The attire will be there. Mm -hmm. But that bronze will be there. Talking about the identity of someone like you. You know, you have you have, you having the dual identity of living in America. And it's like, like the question, who are the Americans? Yeah. You understand? Eh, eh, you know, that's that can raise a lot of conversations. Oh, the Americans, ah, those who are not claiming being Americans are not the real Americans. Who, the real Americans are the Red Indians. You understand? Yeah, so it's, yeah. been raising, it's been raising a lot of questions. Oh, we have a lot of Blacks here. We have a lot of you know, states here. Who are the Americans? Mm -hmm. You understand? You can claim I am an American. You understand? Yeah. You understand? So putting the entire on you, we talk volume. We speak volume about you. You, speak about, you understand? About mm -hmm. you. And uh, also, I'm planning of making the, I'm, I'm, I'm planning of making the head bigger than the body the what like caricature ah yeah that's another style on his own yeah so the head bigger than the body you know that's 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 the the african art mm. african art you know as yoruba people now we believe so much in the head yeah. more than the more than every part of the body mm. So if you check our bronze and leaf and very well, if you check it very well, you're going to see that the only of the way the way it was sculpted, it was you know, sculpted, then the head is bigger, why the hand is like this. Mm. You understand? Why yeah. the leg is very, you know, very short, but the head is bigger. So it's because of the ideology about you know about head, the ideology we have about head. We believe that we have inner head and outer head, you know, and that inner head talks about talks only about the, the destiny, you know, your destiny, you know, they used to consult the oracle. This yeah. child has just give back, you just give back, give back to now. So what is it going to become? You know, yeah. some people came with a good destiny, you understand? That's yeah. a belief. We believe so much 
in the head. And personally, that's the reason why he is it's part of the research I did, you know, that was 2019. That's what I did then, you know, that would strongly believe in the head more than the body. Mm. Because everything comes from the head, who you become in this yeah. life, everything you are is about your destiny, which is the inner yes. ear, yeah. inner head. And we have to, it has to do with inner eyes too. They will perceive things, you know, the eye of my girls may be bigger, one may be bigger than the other. Yeah. <laughs> So you understand? Yeah, and that was a result of the art mentorship because in the way I was able to think deep and do a lot of research and, you know, I, I did a lot of research. <laughs> so that I can that's know. what's needed for you to be able to, you know, document everything. So definitely, you, you did understand. extremely well. Yeah, and I know there's yeah. more research to do because there's so much to know. Your bad culture is so yes. dense. You need yes. a whole lifetime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> document the whole thing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. And I would also want to find, ask you a, a few more questions. So how do All you right. stay connected with the, the heart world? How do you, mm. yeah. Okay. Art world, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, as an artist, you know, oh, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to, <laughs> you have to be different from any other artist. You have to be different from any other person. So from the beginning, it was not easy for me like that. For my career, I mean, from my career, I mean, yeah. from from the beginning, it was not easy for me as an artist because to be different from every other person is not easy. You understand know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So yeah. artwork, in a way, is competitive, and um, what I did then is that. Like what I said earlier, I did a lot of researches and then I look inward. I want to be connected to my work. And basically, I want to document a story, mm -hmm. you know, that has to do with me, my culture, who I am. And when I did that, then the art market, the art world, in a way, you know, uh, in a way, uh, was able to relate with. My, you understand? As in my unique way of doing things. Okay, you understand me, right? To relate with your unique thing, your unique way yes, of unique things. way of doing things. You understand? So although it's as a result of the studies I've already done, you understand? So the art world in a way is competitive. Mm -hmm. You understand? So and I have to you know create a name for myself, create an identity for myself. So how I live with them is by being unique. Okay. And That's and good. also by bringing a story that is not you know, well pronounced in my contemporary world. So I bring a story that is well, it's not well pronounced, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not what people are talking about, you know, it's not the discourse of the day. You understand know, what I'm saying, yes, right? So uh -huh. you no, know, like for example, if I may ask you that what you know, what can you recognize if I ask? Sorry, can you repeat the question? How can you recognize the if a hat, if a hat, if a hat? Is well, it easier for you to recognize it like that? No. No, no you can't no. say with what is trending right now. People mm. are facing black figures, all these things all around. No, people are just, but you can't, you can't, you can't easily say this is if a hat. That's true. You understand? You understand me, right? That's so true. in a way, in a way, I live with them is by discovering that. Mm. Huh. <laughs> You made a massive discovery, and this is awesome. Ah. Because now we can recognize, we can have some <laughs> knowledge. Thanks, yeah, to you. Yeah. thanks to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, where do you, where, where, I mean, what is your biggest artistic influence then? Oh, biggest artistic influence. Or what mm. are your biggest artistic influence? Do you have any? Okay, that is influencing me as an artist, right? Yes, of course. Oh, I have Dr. Popo. You know <laughs> yeah. Dr. Popo, Ola? Yeah. yeah. He's my man. He's my mentor. <laughs> uh -huh. So, you know, what I love about his work is culture. Mm. You understand? When you yeah. see all those animals and the figures he's doing, you, know, you are going to see Yoruba culture there. Mm. You know, when you look at it closely, you are going to see that if a gross egg. At one side of that bugalo or that, you know, dion or that dog. Just check it very well. You're going to see an epitome, you know, a trace of Yoruba culture in his work. And he lost color a lot. Ah, that, Yes, yes. So, so because he lost color, he was a, he's a painter. 
You know that, right? Yes, yes, and yes. it's also his cotto. And it's also his cotto. So in a way, he influence, he's influencing me. We talk a lot. In, in fact, in the in the, vid, the recent video I did for our interview for press, you know, press, you no, know, I, I made mention of him when they asked me this question. I made mention of him that yes, he is. And the other person is Walila Guju. Mm -hmm. Do you know Walila Guju? He do he does math too, you know. So I love yes, the way. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> so he really like with you. Yeah, he does mask a lot. And also, another person, you know, what you're talking about, you know, I paint old folks too. I paint old men, old women, and old oh, okay. women yeah. too. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. with the best, and my use of color, someone that influenced influence me a lot is Segun Fagurisi. Segun Fagurisi, yes. Yeah, he influenced me in the use of colors, the way I use my colors, and, um, documentation because it's documenting the old folks you understand so documentation aspect is the one that influences me mm. as an artist that's very particular that's good because you know for each of these uh artists you could say what actually influences you specifically so yeah yes good. yeah so if you could mix all of them into one person that would be your perfect mentor basically okay basically perfect mentor <laughs> yeah that would be yeah if you if you mix them all together that would be the first the perfect person for you and uh, well we've talked about the, the purpose and the goal of your work and i would like to know now um when do you decide that one of your work is finished how one do of you my know work is when finished. your work is finished like now okay i love i love that question <laughs> But what I do is before I do any artwork, I I I do a lot of researches and uh, I write. Like for example, let me show you my sketch by there. Hey. Okay. Mm. Look at this. Oh wow. Yeah, that is sketch of one of the of the painting that I'll be exhibiting next month. Mm -hmm. So before before I execute this on canvas. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I, it, it all came to my mind mm -hmm. that I'm doing something of this nature. Then I sketch it. Then after the sketch, what I do next is I will do research. Yes. So that's what you are saying. I write a lot of things, symbols, yeah. everything. I write it down like this mm -hmm. before I know what I will create. So as an artist, what I do is after this research, then when I'm executing this on canvas, you know, I will definitely know it's done because of the research I've already done, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because of the note I've taken, you understand? And the elements I want to see in those words, I've already painted them down. Okay. Do you understand? I've already, I've already, I've already, you know, I had an idea of what I want, I want to do before I do them. Mm -hmm. So why put in the colors? You know, in a way, it may be, it may be an it may be in an abstract way, but the message I'm passing across. If it is seen already in my work, mm. then my work is done. It may be as simple as that, but the yeah. message I'm passing across, you understand? You know, I'm documenting. Yeah. You know, it it comes it come for it comes for questions. You know, my work generates more questions and it straight us back to history. Mm. So I can't just I can't just create art like that. True, true. It makes you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, what yeah, I do yeah, is yeah. after the research, then I look for the bullet points, you know, I look for the tool of discourse. I want to inculcate in my painting. Then when that is seen in my work, then my work is done. So basically, that's how you know, basically, that your work is done. Yes, you know, that's how I know. Add that's anything I know. else after to just yeah. know. It's yes. all about the documentation. This is yes. really good. This is, a, this is a, an excellent way to, to look to, you know, to work as well. And then so <laughs> how would you say your, your, your painting technique has evolved uh, around, um, from time, from when you started to now? Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> I started, <laughs> my dad is an artist. Ah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, but he was not privileged to go to art school like that. So, but he's a very good artist, you know, he's skilled. So when I was very small, I do create works because I was influenced by him. Hmm. You know, I do do all this, this little child play, drawing, you know, actor and both. Papa, you understand that? <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of documenting something similar to that because I love kids. I love, I love, I love, uh, I love children a lot. Yes. So all those child play of the thing. I have, I have 
pictures of them on my phone. I'm planning of documents and that's that. So I do all these act on both things on my local those things. So um, when I was in SS1, yeah, I do paint all these popular figures, portraits mm -hmm. of popular figures like the Arab Allah, the governor of the state in 2012. I painted his portrait, you know, then that's how I started. Mm. You no, know, that's when I started putting paint on me on 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 uh, on uh, on surface like say, like board paper. I started doing something of that nature. So I think goes on when uh, my brother my brother came to our studio. Then after is is uh, 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 after is you know we do call something here. Um, what was it called? Industrial mm -hmm. training. After yeah. his interest, he came to our shop then, then he started creating works that speak volume more than just portraits. Mm. He, he painted someone that was drummy, you know, he was drummy as in, I painted some figures that they are done. I was like, whoa, so this art of painting goes beyond just painting mm -hmm. portraits. Okay, then I, you know, what, by the time he's painting, he'll be telling us something. Then what I did then was, I do, I do write those things down. Ah. All those bullet points is, Take 10 years about colors, you know, about those things, you no, know, I do paint them down. Then then I was not painting, I was not practicing, but I painted and I commit those things to memory. Yes. So after is you know, after you know, we, we got his own studio to then he left our studio. So another year, you no, know, next year like that, then I just had that feelings of starting something. Oh, you know, my painting just changed. Then I started painting my painting. The way I paint, the way I do my figures just changed. Mm. Then in 2013, I proceeded to Oba Femiola University. Mm. In first, so then I majored in painting. Then I saw a lot of creative minds. You know, people, they are very skilled. Some of them have already, they are already, already, already in the art market, you understand? So in a way, my mind was enlarged, you know? I, I got to know many things, not from my lecturer alone, but from my colleagues. So as I goes on, then I I started my own. <laughs> then in 2019, when I when I did my, you know, no, 2018, I did a lot of paintings there. Although some of those paintings are not on Instagram. Mm -hmm. you know, I have them on my phone. You know, I did, you know, I did landscape. I did, I did figure, I did beggars. That beggar is on my phone. Beggars begging. Figures. Yeah, when you see that page, you know that well, this guy is not just <laughs> amateur. I'm not an amateur. You know, he's not a beginner. You understand? Yeah. Because, you know, I, I learned, I learned from my friends, I learned from my brother, I learned from school. Mm -hmm. You know, after that, then I gathered the strengths and I bought everything on mm -hmm. canvas. Mm -hmm. So until now. That I'm not documenting the bros. Exactly. <laughs> so that's how my that's yes, that, that that's how my art, you know, I grows. Think. It's not it's still growing, you know. I've already told you many things I've not done. You understand? Yes. So that's how I started as an artist. Awesome. So how would you what advice could you give to an artist that is starting up right now? Ah, oh, the advice I would give to them is number one, they should understand the, the reason why they are doing what they are doing. Because from the beginning, I am not creating to make money. Mm. I just love what I do. You understand? The, yes. the big motive behind what I do is not because I want to make money, because no, I want to, no, 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 no. I, I started this thing because I love what I do, mm. because I love my culture. So now my younger self must believe, <laughs> must believe in him or herself that yes, this is what I'm doing is not for money. Because inspiration dies a lot. You mm. see, some some artists they will start, then they will quit mm. because they are not they are not celebrated. They are not mm. inspired with money. They are not you know in a way they, they aspire to become big artists in a day. Mm. Which mm. is not. I started when I was very small, fifteen years. I I still have the portrait painting I did for myself when I was fifteen years. It's, it's in my room at home. I can't show you. I'm not, you know, because I'm not that. I would, I would have shown you. Yeah. When I was 15 years, see how small I am. I did painting of myself, and it really resembled me. Oh my God. The ah. colors and everything. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> then the motive was not money. You understand? That's the true. motive was not to be seen by, not to, you understand? I just love what I do. Mm. And today, now, I, I am one of the contemporary artists in Africa now because of that motive. Mm. For example, now some of my... We were talking about what you would say to your younger self. Yeah. <clears throat> that's, 
the first point, the first point is not to do things because of money. Mm -hmm. Should be, that was a wrong motivation from the beginning. Mm. Uh, yeah, the, the first, the first thing I, uh, I will advise to, I will advise to do is to, number one, just discover what you love doing. Mm. Don't do things because people are doing it. Because as, as time goes on, as time goes on, you are going to run out of inspiration. Mm. So, but just look inward, discover what you love doing, then start it. Any, any criticism may arise, many things may happen, but just start doing it. Then the next thing is to work on yourself by spending a lot on yourself, mm. you know, create time to study, you know, study the art markets know what is going on in the art market, mm. know what is selling, know what is trending, mm. know the artists that are trending, know their sales, know what they are doing, dig deep and, and do a lot of research on what they are doing that makes them to be, to be accepted by the art market, mm -hmm. by art galleries. Why are collectors collecting their works? Mm. So these are the same questions that should be answered by my younger self. So when, that, when those questions are answered, then you sit back, then you look in what you look at your own personal inherent ability, what you love doing. Then see them, take a paper, <laughs> and take a pencil, down. write it down. After writing it down, then look for way out. Why am I going to infuse this into what I've already studied, what mm -hmm. I've already seen? Then those are questions should be answered by you. If you have not answered them, get books. Read art materials, mm -hmm. you know, go to exhibitions. Ask questions from the masters, from the, we uh, have mentors, do you have those who are ahead of you? Ask questions from them. Mm -hmm. Ask questions about colors. Ask questions about, ask questions about anything. You know, this screen, see question already in you. You've already, pro, pro, you've already prepared the questions before you meet them. Yeah. So when, in a way, you will be answered because of these questions, many of us have already dealt with them. Yeah. And that is why we are where we are today. That is why we continue. I, I've started this out of a thesis when I was 10 years. So that I have a lot of answers. <laughs> you know, so I've experienced a lot about these things. So, so you have, you've already asked those questions. Then when you meet masters, have a race conversation. Ask them, show them what you have. Let them advise you. So as time goes on, when you continue, because the motive is not money, it's not fame, it's not all those things that can, you understand, that can, that can weigh you down, you understand? Because I have many artists that, we, 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 we that graduated from OU were like 120 in 2019. Yes, so yes. most of us now, they are no longer practicing arts. Those who are, you know, those who you can see here, their name now, we are just like five out of 120. Wow. Really? Just imagine. Yeah. Even though other emission, other emission. Yes. Even though Aragbada, Aragbada, Steven. Oh. You know, these are my set. I, 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 I meet you, that's number three. Another person is David Adebayo, that's a sculptor. Then another one, Steve Joseph. Oh. So that is he, but yes. that's Joseph. Uh, you know Steve Joseph, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so these are my sets. You understand? So in a way, when you see, you no, know, many things weigh us down, weigh them down. Not me. I can't be with them. Mm. <laughs> I can't be discouraged. You understand? It is impossible. So many things weigh them down. Many things discourage them because of the multiple. I bought materials. I bought all this thing, and my energy is in this thing. But mm. I put in for competition. I put in for clinical. No one is saying what I am saying there. No one is promoting me. So. Let me look for it again. Because I have to pay rent, I have to buy things, I have to do big boy, I have to do fine girl, you know, I have to you know, you understand how to play, you know, since. so just <laughs> I have to go to party, I have to play, you understand? They need yes. cash, you understand? That's the motive for the, that's the motive for the beginning. Mm -hmm. And when that cool cash is not coming, hey, you understand, they be discouraged. Yes. Yeah, so that's one of the major reasons why many people are not practicing that now. So my younger self, that's what I would tell him or her, that he or she shouldn't create this and that. Yeah. You know, just, just discover what to know best. You know, Sorry, can you repeat that because you were breaking up? Discover, discover what? I didn't hear what you said because the line broke up. Okay. Okay, art is like a child play, child play, art. Yes. So you must discover, discover what you love to do. Yes. You know what you love to do. You know, we have abstract in art. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not you do figures like this. Mm. 
True. You understand? Yes, I understand now. that. Yes, Art, of course. You know, we have different styles. Styles. Uh -huh. So you can just choose to say, oh, this is what I will be. You know, Bloom Arts Gallery. Yes. Bloom Arts Gallery in Lagos. Yeah. Okay. You know that woman they, they about to exhibit now. That woman, I forgot her name. That woman they about to that she's about to do, do solo mm. exhibition now. What's her name? Do you know her? I, I've, seen, songs, I've right? seen the I've seen the, um, the, the information about it, yeah. Yes. You see the way the woman was painting now. You understand that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the woman just did like this. Yeah. Yes. Then you understand. She she loves it that way. No one will question her. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So just see, just discover what you love doing, then start it. That's all. Then have backup. You no, know, you must have you no, know, you must have, you, you have you have you have analysis for what to do. No one will question you. That's you. That's you true. can't be another you, yes, no, you can't be another person. You can't be another you can't be me. That's you. You are you are different. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> uh -huh. So when you, when you discover that thing you love doing, that I'm talking to my younger self. Yeah. <laughs> So when you discover what you love doing, then start it. Not because of money, just do it because you love it. When you see the laugh, oh my God, I love this. I, I will continue. You understand what I mean? Yes, so exactly. You and then you'll be happy. Oh, I love it. As time goes on, you'll be celebrated. Yes. As time goes on, you will see someone that say, oh my goodness, you did this. I love it. How much? You understand? Yes. It goes on, but the motive is not... Yeah, you did it, you understand? Yes. How much, you understand? The motive is not taking them to galleries. That's at first, you understand? At first, you understand? It, at first, but that can, comes in, you know, as time goes on, you understand? Now, mm. put in for competitions, yes. put in for art residency, put in, you know, do solo exhibition. That can come in as time goes on. Mm. But that's not the main motive. That's but the you advice. Do what you love to do. And, you know, that's just it. be happy and passionate about it. Don't do it for money. Do it because you love it. That's it. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> so, so what would you then say now about the market at the moment? Because you know, if you look at the the African art market now, there's like a, a whole influx of um, of uh, figurative art. A lot of people are coming up right now. So what do you think of that? Uh, uh, black, black, black. <laughs> Um, <laughs> to be frank, to be frank, I'm tired of seeing this. <laughs> seeing this because almost everybody are now turning to black, 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 figure, 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 figure. Whereas, whereas, these things they are doing, you know, art market has to do is seasonal. That's the word. Okay. If you do things because people are doing it, mm. as time goes on, you will die out. So what I can say about it is, mm. it, it, about it is, um, figurative in a way is good. You understand? Mm -hmm. Figure, figure, painting figure is, you know, it's come everybody does. You know, we do figures. You understand? Yeah. But the black of it, see, in a way, I will say, some people will die out soon if this season, you no, know, ended. You understand? Yeah. If this season is no longer, you understand? Black, uh, can you come black, identity black, can you come? If they take that out, some people will shut down. Okay. You won't hear their name again. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So then what I can say about that is that discover yourself. You understand what I mean? Mm. Do what you really love and create a name. Do something that is unique. We you know, for example, now you can see an art man and say, this is it's, it look like someone's work, you understand? Yeah. So when that happens, you won't have name. Just you understand now. So people will not be you know not easily recognize you. Mm, mm, that's true. You understand me? So when you do figures, now maybe now you do figure and you put black put everything. A lot of people are doing that. Yeah. You understand what I mean, Abby? Yeah. A lot of people are doing that. So for me, when I saw that, then you know, when I saw that, when I see that ah, this thing is trendy, I said, mm, I didn't want to be careful. <laughs> don't be going that route <laughs> yes sir <laughs> don't be deceived i don't want to be careful because there was a time that hyperrealism is trending yeah that people love hyperrealistic work they buy you know this is now because yeah. hey hyperrealism 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 but now hyperrealism has gone down, down yeah. in a way you understand now yeah. what is not trending now is black so what happened to those people that are doing those hyperrealism Good question. Can you tell me? 
<laughs> All I can say about that is that, you know, in a way, they are selling. You understand? Mm-hmm. They have their collectors already. Yeah. But me, as an artist, I don't just want to live like that, you know, a silent life, a life that, you know. Now, for example, now you talk about Leonardo da Vinci now. In a way, yes. you, his name is T, you understand? When you talk about Van Gogh, mm-hmm. when you mention these names, you know, these they are great artists. Their name is T. Ellie. You know, in your, you see, you still celebrate them. Yes. You understand what I mean, right? So yes, some totally. artists, and you know, that's the difference. Then, that's why I was wondering what was your thought of this because it's true that now the new trend is the whole uh, African black face. Okay, it's, mm-hmm. it's good. We see a lot. It's of, good. We see a lot mm-hmm. because we also needed it. To be honest, we because, also needed it. Honest, yes, yes. We, we yes. We don't really. We never really used to have a lot of. Blackface painting. Black. To be yes. honest, I, we never I, yes, used to, to be have honest, that. To be honest, so to be honest, we have to, we have to accept the fact that we never used to. But that, now we're yes. coming a lot. <laughs> but a I would lot. like to see. I would like you to see, like, with direction, uh, different directions. Like, you know, when we were discussing about, okay, reflect to your history, try and yes. because this we never used to have. So imagine if we could get paintings now of what was happening back then. For yes. the future generation, you'll be so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yes, I love it. I love it. It's just I'm just caring for younger artists like me. You understand? Mm. No, the way you could recognize me now is because of that uniqueness. Uniqueness. But what if someone copies your mask? Then what would you then do? Like now, someone copies this this style that you're doing. You know, on the face, on the. No, films. it's okay. People have been yeah. doing it before. You so, understand what I mean? Yeah. So so people can you, do it. You, won't you feel like, okay, how would people recognize me? No, mm-hmm. I won't feel that. I won't feel that at all. We are promoting the culture together. Okay. Because, you know, for example, now, when you check my paintings, you, you recognize that hey, I don't only do bronze. Mm. You understand? My figures, like, for example, oh, let me show you this, I'm coming. Okay. There's a particular artwork here, hey, fella. <laughs> Hello, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, 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 yes. Afro- so look at the edge. Yes. You see that I scarif- I, I put lines there. I scarify yes. the edge. So my painting is not just bronze. Any figure I'm painting, you understand? Mm. I put that scarification there as, you know, I'm using that as an identity. Mm. You know, to talk more about black people. Yes. That the vein that runs through our body is the black mm. Call a black blow. You understand that that bone, everything that's yeah. an additive. You understand. Mm. So I I do that a lot. You understand. So talking about the bros, I'm not the only one that started this, but I'm just the only one that that you know that is doing it in the way to, you know, I carry it a lot. You understand mm. the way I carry it. I, I do yes. it a lot. Yes. People have done the bros before. Uh, mm. I can't dispute that fact. You understand. Mm. So people have done it before, and people are still doing it. Mm. But the way I carry my own in the way, I'm going deeper. Yeah. You understand? I'm going deeper and deeper. So my own personal intention of doing it, I think there's no way you can copy intentions. Mm-hmm. There's no way you can copy uh, your own, you know, personally, who you are now. No one can ever be like you. That's the thing. That's the beautiful thing. You can only be- You understand? Know, we, we are all different. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all different. If you say you want to be like me, there's no way you have the same knowledge I have about colors. Mm. If you say you want to be like me, there's no way you can have the same experience of art. Mm, that's true. Also, there's no way you can have the same blood that I inherited from my dad. That's true. My, you no, know, my exposure. You understand? Mm. The way, the way I do this, my storyline. I can teach you, but you can't be me exactly. exactly. You understand? So yes. some people can copy it, they can do it, but they can't really be me. You can do it, yeah. The way as a person. Do, as yeah. a person. Mm. Mm. It, makes mm. sense. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, that's what not sense. the truth now. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I had is... fella image. Ah, ah, it's going ah. to work. Or it's going to be work up. It's a project for work up. Mm. I can tell. Yeah, I saw the T-shirt. I'm supporting. Yeah, I'm supporting Ghana. I'm supporting Ghana in work in the work up. Uh, you see, you're not even supporting Nigeria, yeah, trader. No, no, no. <laughs> because we are not going to work up. I'm representing Nigeria as an artist. Oh, okay. That's good. You still yeah, managed yeah. to introduce Nigeria somehow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so all all those Ghana, yeah, Ghana feels good. So mm. their platform just reached out to me to create work, you know, that talk about Fela, you know, 
putting Jesse, you know, Afrobeat King is the, is the Afrobeat yes. King. So I just created that. So as they are going to work, they are going to hold an exhibition for us in Ghana, yeah. where people like Uba and uh, all these people, they are coming there. And it started today. So my own, uh, they, now they, will come, they will come over and pick this one up. So hey. that's it. I'm representing Nigeria in, in your cup. You're welcome. <laughs> I need to ask you a question. How do you balance your daily life with your artist life? Because it's like, how do you do it? Your day day to day life, like normal life and artist. I understand. Life. I yeah. understand. <laughs> what I do is, you know, although I'm the kind of person that loves to work because I developed these things when I was very small. Mm. So you in a way, like I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> You understand? So I love to work a lot, but I love other activities. I love to go to party. Uh, I love to go to programs where, you know, many things, you know. I love to watch movie, visit friends, to G's, to, you know, to, to go on vacation, you know. Mm -hmm. you know I, do, I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. You understand? I do that a lot. But what I do is I try to, um, you know, I, I have to do this. Now, for example, now, if you may ask me that, how many work have I created so far in this day? I've created a lot of works, you understand? Mm -hmm. A lot of other Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. this year. All, my, all those are Mona Lisa, this year. The one I just uploaded this year. I've done like, like close, close the one I did for this, this year, close to like 20 something works this year. Mm -hmm. And they are not just small, small, they are big, big works. Mm -hmm. So, what I, what I used to do is that I, I do have to do lists that I'm planning on doing this. You understand? So it doesn't mean that I will stay at home to watch TV, watch news. You no, know? I also like this game. You know, I play game. I have tears at home. Then I play game. I relax. I see movie. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> but what I do is that I do have to do this. That yes, this time at times I, I sleep in my studio. My studio is near my. You no, know, I have a studio and I have my own apartment. Yes. So I don't paint. I don't paint at home. So if I have to stay at home now, I'm staying at home so that I can relax. I enjoy myself. I feel his friends. You no. Know? I talk, you know, we talk with G's, we go out, we go to exhibitions. So, but if I really want to work in my studio, mm -hmm. I will show them everything. You understand? Because this yes. thing has to do with, it has to do with inspiration. It has to do with, you know, you uh, emotionally balanced, mm, not true. being distracted. You no, know? you understand? So yes. I, I, I do shut down every other, all other uh, distractions. I show them down. Then I play sound, I play music while creating. Then I fire hard. Good. So you've got a good balance between the two. That's a fine. That's fine. Then sometimes people can find it difficult, but that's good. Yeah. In that case, I will ask you: Have you ever experienced a creative block, and how did you come out of it? Hmm. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 you know, art. Art has to do with uh, art is the expression that's mm -hmm. the definition of art art is the expression of inner feelings yeah so art has a lot to do with your feelings mm -hmm. how you feel so whenever i feel bad maybe something bad happened maybe uh maybe you no know, i have i have studio studio assistant i have a lot of them i have like 15 you know close to 15 now in my studio at home they are in my studio they are working i'm guiding them on how to do things and like that so at times when some of them misbehave emotionally when you know, parents younger ones many things like that in a way when i feel bad what i do most time is that uh, i try to resolve those things you know by by you know uh by by calling myself to order Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you are not emotionally balanced, you won't be able to do something extraordinary. Yeah. So then in my mind, I try to figure it out. Then I provide, I do provide an answer. I do provide, I might be one that's for all ease, the one that's what I try to balance everything because that emotions, you know, it has a lot to do with what I do. Yeah. If there was a time that I was not okay, then I was forcing myself to create artwork. You know what happened after that? Ah, uh, I was unable to. The work is still an abroad project now. It's still in my studio. Wow. Yeah. Then, then I was not balanced emotionally. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Then I was unable to proceed. Then I just leave the work. Mm. I leave the work. It's, it's still in my studio now. So, but what do happen is that inspiration, that that inspiration I had then for the work mm. died. Really? There's yes. no way to revive it. The way. I can do that. It's just no, 
in a way. Wow. The way I can revive it back is just what I can do to myself. Because, you know, this thing is, is spiritual in a way, because I don't know yeah. how to explain this. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. It has a lot to do with feelings. If you have heard about, if you have heard about, or you've read about all these great artists, masters, yeah. some of them, they left their families. They enter one cave. Some of them mm. cut their body, use mm. their blood to paint. They are yeah. crazy. They are yeah. called mad artists. You know, that same thing is, is happening to us. In a way, we may not know how to explain it. Mm. You understand? You may not know how to explain, but personally, that inspiration, that's the reason why when I want to create, when I have inspiration for something, I will not do another one. Mm. I'll make sure I finish that one before I start another one. For me as an artist, because mm. that moment, the inspiration is there. Then I have to pour it out at that moment. Mm. So if I don't pour it out at that moment, that inspiration, it may not come again, or I may force myself ah. to do it. You understand? I can say, ah, because because this person, because this person is giving money, or maybe someone, 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 someone see and someone is interested in the work, and you go, oh, wow, this work is good. Or uh, the motive can be because I want to do an exhibition, mm. it may be refined. Maybe motive may be, well, yeah, someone may like, I may remind myself that eh, someone may come for it that to buy it and give me money. Then when I take off the money, the thing may be like, oh, let me finish this work. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So many things can be, you understand, for me, it's not easy like that, but mm. many factors can, you know, can, can, can revive it back, mm. you understand? But you can't easily, easily say it can be revived like that. Yeah. We have many artists that have abandoned projects in their studio. Wow. But yes, we have many so, artists. So then how do you overcome that block? What do you do? What I do is I remind myself of, of, of the saves I've had before and the exhibition ah, I've had okay. and the loss. <laughs> when I remind myself of, of what of two thousand dollars of three thousand dollars, hey, one five, and I remind myself of what I use the money for <laughs> of the exhibition I've had. So I say, hey, I do not like you have to finish this work. You have to finish this work. Someone is out there that is interested in this work because mm. art, art is not. Uh, there is there is always a buyer for art. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no ugly art. Yeah, no, exactly. Every art has got something, some emotion is carrying. So I that's think. it. So when I remind myself of that, then the inspiration will come back. That's good. Ah, that's that's a good way to go about it. I like that. And I, <laughs> how do you decide which gallery or which curator you want to work with? How do you decide? How do you choose? Uh, as an artist, mm -hmm. um, the vision I have is this culture. I'm documenting mm -hmm. this thing I'm doing. I want it to be celebrated. More than myself. You no, know, at times you don't, don't 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 know artists, but you know artwork. You yeah. don't really know artists like that, but you know the name of an artist. Yeah. You understand what I mean, right? Yeah. So what I really want is that I want all the best art galleries in the world, mm -hmm. all the art galleries in the world. You understand yeah. to celebrate this culture. I don't. They may not celebrate me. You understand, mm -hmm. but this culture, our our uniqueness our language, mm -hmm. our way of life, the way we do things, our identity as black people. Mm -hmm. You know, I want them, I want the galleries, curators, art collectors, art lovers to celebrate the more than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So when you see the work, oh, who is this artist? At times they measure the name. They don't, they don't they, sometimes, they, sometimes they don't, they don't really want the face of the artist like that. Mm -hmm. You understand? They want the name. Oh, the name of the artist is Ademola Ocho. Wow, and this is what he does. Mm, wow, that's a good guy. I love his work. Oh my God, this is great color. I love the concept behind the work. You understand? All the galleries, all the work in the world. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, uh, I don't have one in particular in my mind. Mm -hmm. you understand? I have auctions to so auction this work. I want galleries to exhibit this work, mm -hmm. and they are not talking about me per se. They are talking about the culture. Yes. They are talking about the identity. Mm -hmm. So all galleries. All creators, all art lovers, all you know, all of them, they are welcome. Mm, that's good then. That's I like that. You really because they are not pro they are, they are, yeah they are not promoting me. They are promoting the culture. Yes, but yeah. that's that's the, that's what you want to put forward, and that's like so. In that's, case, so that's, that's what it. you see. 
so to you now that means the role of an artist is kind of in the what's, what would be the role of an artist in the society to you then yeah. in your opinion yeah you know like all these um politicians musicians mm -hmm. where is again teachers where is again uh news news uh news cast, uh, the press mm -hmm. okay what is again mm, we have radio fm yeah what is again you know, we're talking about society now. All these people I just mentioned, the teachers, uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, politi politicians, all these people, press, mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Yes. You know, they have a lot of, they have a lot of roles. They are playing yes. in the way we live mm -hmm. as human beings. That's true. When you you know, broadcasters, when you watch TV, oh, I like the hairstyle of this person. Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Yes. That influence your Thinking pattern that influence your your lifestyle. Oh, look at the dress! Oh my God, I so much love the way the, the elegant way is working with that yeah. dress and everything. Oh my God! Oh, look at the makeup! Oh, he puts pink hair. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to buy buy a pink lipstick. You understand? <laughs> oh, see that see that dancing step. You understand? See that dancing step. Oh my god, I love to dance that with all this dancing, all these things, you know. They, 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 in the way they 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 really they really get deep into our into our lifestyle. They, they, they inform, they inform the way we think, the way you know, like teachers, the way we think. Politicians, they, they have a lot of roles they play in the economy, in everything we do. You understand? Yes. So also as, as an artist, what I do is I I'm using my heart as a tool mm -hmm. of discourse. I you understand? Yes. To the society that this who we really have. You understand now? Like this one I did here now, I'm actually talking about you. I'm talking about everybody. Mm -hmm. You understand? The black race. How I don't forget your origin. Don't forget your lineage, your siblings. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your family. You actually hail from somewhere. Never forget it. I'm, I'm, do I'm doing a clearing call. You understand? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm calling the audience back to who they really are, mm -hmm. to where they really are it from to mm. to to you know how they should celebrate who they really are more than any other culture mm. so society have to see this they have to enjoy this they have to celebrate this you understand what i mean yes, so absolutely. for example it is easier for you to forget who you have because of what is happening around those all these you know european songs you know where you are now what you you, you 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 know you see your environment you see why is it you know you see their culture oh this you know you understand in a way you can easily forget mm, what true. we do here as Yoruba people you understand I also stay stay here to you know in office they take that dress dress officially mm. and dressing officially doesn't mean you wear uh, your Yoruba attire <laughs> that's not fair it's you understand not it's an official outfit too. <laughs> But, yeah, I understand what you mean. But if you do, if you if you do that, they will get to question you. You understand? Yeah, that's true, that's Why? True. That in a way you can easily forget. Yeah. You understand your culture. But when you see the bronze head, mom, you understand? You when you back. see <laughs> this is call you, it you remember. You remember. Oh, this is where we like, let me show you this at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the you understand. Part. Hey, hey, this is you that's you call this dress Ofi. You understand? Yes. Ofi. Hey, hey. You see that? See the cap there? Yes. You can see the cap. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. That's our own cap. We don't wear hats. Mm. You understand? We don't wear uh, we don't wear, wear head woman. <laughs> you understand? Yes. This one we wear. You understand? So when you see this, maybe you buy this now, you just put it in your house, it will remind you of who you are. Yes. So to the society, this is what I do. Mm. You understand? But putting on this, I'm just telling, talking to the next generation. Way, in a way, this is the way we dress. Mm. This is what society has brought to us. You understand? And yes. this is what we do. But that doesn't change who we really have yeah. as a person, which is the bronze. Exactly. You understand? We may put on this. You may put on that. We may put on the chain. Mm. You know, you may, you may put on the you know, powder. You may put on the makeup, but it doesn't really change who you are. That's the idea behind that. And that's what I'm doing to the site. Mm -mm. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for <laughs> providing us with all this insight. I'm, ah, I'm really happy, you know. And we've been building <laughs> these interviews for some time, but I'm really happy we managed to do it today. 
I understand. I understand. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. Ha. <laughs> Let me just.